The deadlift is the most, in my opinion, effective exercise we can do in the gym. I absolutely adore doing barbell deadlifts. It's one of my favorite go-to exercises, and therefore I program variations of that as much as I can for my clients who are generally beginners. So starting them off on a straight up barbell deadlift might not be the best move. So how we progress up to that position is we start with kettlebells and we start with dumbbells. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Now the deadlift is an exercise that works so much of the body and it works in what we call a hinge movement pattern. It's one of the big compound moves and it's very important to understand. It's compound because we move more than one joint set as we do it and it's very big because we use so much muscle mass in order to do it. And generally you'll see it as one of the heaviest lifts in most people's programs because one, it's one of the safest to do that heavy, two, it's one of the easiest to learn to do that heavy, and three, it's that darn good for the body. Right, so let's get to it, shall we? Uh, let me just adjust that so I can stand up. So I've got a kettlebell here. Mine's only eight kilograms, but believe me when I say eight kilograms is too light for you to deadlift, all right? That's just all I've got in my house at the moment. I can't get to the gym to record these because of COVID-19. So I'm using the kettlebell, but the principles are the same. I'll tell you a little story. I was in the gym with someone about a month ago when gyms were open and we was allowed to go into them and we was doing kettlebell deadlifts. And she said to me, she had, I think a 10 or 11 or 12 kilo kettlebell. And she said, I'm not really feeling this exercise. So I pulled out a 28 kilo kettlebell for her. And then she really understood how the exercise works. So just to put it into perspective, you know, don't be scared of the heavy weight for the kettlebell deadlift. It can be done very effectively. And when you get it done very effectively, it is extremely good for you. So let me talk you through how to do it right now. So we want to line up the kettlebell so that it is in line with this part of the foot, the instep of the foot, or maybe where the, the knuckle of the, the big toe comes out. I'm sure you don't want to look at my feet, but we're talking about this bit here. Okay, you want to line up the handle of the kettlebell with that part of the body. Oh, let's go back so I don't get my head cut off. Now, our feet are going to be hip width apart. Um, and now we're going to go back in the hips. This is the hinge movement that I was talking about earlier. So we go back in the hips like so, which allows us to keep the spine nice and neutral here. And that's the position we want to maintain in the spine all the way down to picking the weight up off the floor to then returning it to the floor again. So a nice cue I like to think for that is hips back and then down. And then we come down. You'll notice I am closing the angle in my knees, but that's secondary to me really closing the angle in my hips. Once I can't crease my hips anymore, that's when my knees start to go down in order to allow me to lift the weight. The other thing you want to notice is at the bottom, I am making sure my chest is presented forward, like so. I'm presenting my chest to the floor as much as I can, retracting my shoulder blades as much as I can, so that I'm not all hunched over and curled, like so. Now you might be more comfortable with a slightly wider stance in your feet, that's absolutely fine. Whatever works for you is what is important. I personally, when I'm doing one so narrow like this with a kettlebell, I like to get uh, quite narrow. So you'll see my shoulders as well are above my hips. That's another key aspect of the deadlift. We, want, we don't want to be completely flat. We don't want our hips to be level with our shoulders. We want our shoulders to be slightly above our hips. And then all we do is we come down in this position. We push through the floor to stand up. Now I'm not, I'm not lifting from the shoulders and I'm not, lift, I'm not straightening the knees. What I'm doing is all I'm doing to lift that weight off the floor is I'm going down. I often say this to all of my clients, the floor, mother nature, mother earth is the only thing in life that is always gonna be there to support you. That's it, she's the only thing that's gonna be there to support you no matter what. So when you're doing a deadlift and you're doing something hard and heavy, it's really important that you lean into her, that you push onto her, you use her for the support that she's designed to give you. And that's what we're doing right here. So we're here and then I'm pushing down and by pushing all my weight through my heels, you'll see that my body comes up in a natural together motion. My hips and my shoulders 
both seem to move at exactly the same time, at exactly the same tempo. Now a lot of people when they do a deadlift, you'll see their, their, their hips will hike up and then they'll lift from their back, like so. And it will get a bit too swingy for my liking. And that's because what they're doing is they're not pushing their weight through the floor. So we crease, we come down, engage the abs, push through the floor, squeeze the glutes, and then at the top, we're gonna squeeze, and we're gonna hold it at the top for a bit or two, and then we return the weight in exactly the same manner we lifted it. <clears throat> now the other thing to note is the head position. It's not up here. We're tucking the chin down. You want your eyes to be at this kind of angle in front of you. You kind of want to make them look at the crease of the floor where the floor meets the wall. That's where you want them. Imagine there's a shot glass between your chest and your chin. That's what you want when you're deadlifting. And we're coming up like so, and then down in the same manner. That's the kettlebell. And then with a dumbbell, it's exactly the same. You can have a dumbbell in, either ha in each hand, either side. I'm gonna do it uneven like this with a kettlebell and a dumbbell, but just so you can see the difference here, just because I don't have two weights the same, like so. That's how you can do a dumbbell deadlift. All the same principles apply. Or if you prefer to get two hands on the dumbbell, you can do that here like so, down, that, my friends, is how you deadlift. If you've got any questions, please put them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all again very, very soon. Peace, love, and protein. High fives and positive vibes. Ciao!